Well, we're back. We're building more and we're back at Juicens to pick up some ply. We've been to Screwfix, B&Q, and now we're at Juicens, just picking up some final sheets of ply for the van. We've also chosen our wood that we're gonna use for the worktop. And it's just been a bit of a whirlwind down at the barn so far this morning. So we thought we'd get out of there for a bit, get some errands done and wait for everything to calm down because there's people moving in and out, testing lots of things, moving parking spaces. So it's just easier to be out of the way for a bit, um, away from the chaos. So we're gonna head back there in a minute and get some lunch because believe it or not, it's 1.25. We haven't had anything yet to eat. I'm really hungry. Obviously got to get this all out yet because I can't cook because I've had to put these cushions here to stop the ply from moving and shunting forward. But two sheets of nine mil ply with Bob's special discount. Thank you, Bob. Wish my dad a happy birthday today because he is 81 years old today. And I quickly snuck up really early this morning and I snuck into their side of the house and I laid him out some flowers, some birthday cards a massive birthday cake that was like a chocolate gatto with his 81 like with the candles on some cards a present from mel and me we bought him an art class at a local art studio so he's going there for the day and learning all about how to paint um the sea and how the sea hits the rocks and sort of the landscape and my mum bought him a special artist's bag so he can put all his paint brushes and oils in there because you will have seen in the last video that I was talking about, my dad was always wanting to be a painter since he was quite young, but he wasn't allowed to pursue that dream. So now he's older, he started learning to paint a couple of years ago with a friend and goes around every week to paint with him. But I just wanted to elevate his skills a little bit more and to go and learn with some other people. So I booked him in on a day course to learn seascapes and rocks. So I will fill you in when he does that lesson to see how he gets on but it's not until the 26th of october and his birthday is today which is the 6th of august so he's got a couple of weeks month and a bit to get all the supplies ready and to you know build up towards it so we wish bob all the best for today and wish him a happy birthday down below and i will pass them on to him i love i love it when i see people come back it's wicked i want to do all my Good morning. I thought I'd give you a little bit of an update on the garden and the house. This is the alleyway, almost completed. I rescued these from the wall at the back that my brother had installed, but I've brought them around to the front and hung them on the fence panels. I have then laid down some fake grass, but I ran out. So I need to go and get another piece and replace the whole of that square. And then I have got some plants going on here. So I've got some fake plants. I wanna get some lavender and some roses to go in here. Whether or not they're fake, I'm not sure. The reason why I only put fake in this alleyway is because the two houses form a wind tunnel. We're up high on the hill anyway. And then the wind just comes through there and gusts all the way through and goes down to the main street. So plants do not survive in this alleyway. I've tried and tried and tried and they just don't work. So fake it is. <laughs> and I haven't bought anything new. These, like I said, were my brother's. So I've salvaged those because he's moved into a house in Bath and it's a shared house. So the garden is the low flat and they're on the top floor. So they don't have a garden. So finders keepers for me and these guys were on sale in Lidl about two years ago and I was thinking of hanging them in the van but they're here for now <laughs> maybe when the van's done I'll take them for the van but for now they're going to stay where they are let me show you around the garden there's a little bit of progress but because we've had so much rain the garden is on hold at the moment this is what the fence looks like remember it was cream before so we've got cream in the alleyway 
Now we've got this beautiful slate gray. This is only one coat, so I'm gonna do another coat. The grass has all been finished. The birds have been at the moss and throwing it down on the ground, so it's not a poo, don't worry. It's not a poo. My geraniums have come out beautifully since I rescued them from the bargain bin at home base. Sorry about that, the uh, post lady just came to deliver some parcels. So as I was saying, these were on the bargain bin over in home base and I rescued them, gave them some special plant food, been watering them regularly along with these guys. The lavender looks a little bit dead, but that's because I haven't potted them yet and I'm not sure whether they're gonna survive or not. I have been watering them, but it's just in this heat that we have been having, it wasn't great. I lost one of the geraniums though, because the uh, curtains that I've put on the frame went and bashed these the other day because we had quite a lot of wind. So yeah, they're a little bit worse for wear, but it's really lovely to see all the different buds coming out. So yeah, not bad for bargain bin geraniums. <laughs> but keeping you up to date, this hasn't changed much. I've put the barbecue or the fire pit rather in the corner upside down just for now because I didn't want it to fill with water. The rendering is all finished and dry now because you really have to make sure that it sets properly before you start scraping. So I've got all of this lovely mess to now clean up all the steps, but it doesn't matter because I'm gonna be painting this all anyway. So when it comes to the day of me doing that, we'll do it all in one go. Let me show you the fence right at the very top, but that is the new colour of the fence, which is this dark grey. It's going to replace that navy blue that's been all the way along the side of the house. See? You can see the difference? It's just going to make the garden a little bit more neutral in colours. But the best bit is look at the new wall that Dad's painted. I got an olive green paint colour from Home Base. It's this one right here that I can show you. It's... Santex in olive, smooth masonry, and then that is the garden shades in urban slate. So yeah, we've just been updating the garden, making it look good. And I'm gonna get on with the chores today. Let's go. In case you're wondering, I'm actually staying at my parents for the weekend. The plan was to continue to work on the garden, but it's still raining and spitting, so I'm not sure about that. If it dries up, then I'm going to help Dad mow the lawn this afternoon. Perhaps pick a few plums, because the plums have been ripening and dropping. And look, we've got this juicy plum that I picked just now. So looking forward to making some plum crumble later. But just waiting on the weather, really, to see whether we can get out there. Because if we can, I'm going to continue to paint the fence, but I need to strim or at least ask Bob if he wouldn't mind strimming the edges. Mel is down at the barn working on the kitchen today. We chose our kitchen worktop the other day. We're going to use wood, wooden flooring planks and then edge it. Mel did a, one of his first videos, I think, was of his transit welfare van. And he did exactly that. And it was so beautiful. We both were looking through old videos and then we suddenly decided, yes, that's what we want to do for the worktop. We'll check back with you a little later on. Bob's busy. Mowing the lawn before it rains. <laughs> One and only. <laughs> Bob the Builder, you can do anything. <laughs>
right, we're in the van. We're gonna drop down to Lidl early this morning. It's Sunday. It's because it was Bob's birthday the other day, we didn't get a chance to celebrate because he's working and we all have busy lives as always. But I wanted to treat him to a cream tea. So we're gonna do a little like home version this afternoon. So I'm gonna nip down to Lidl quickly, get the bits that we need and surprise him with a cream tea this afternoon. So let's go quickly to Lidl to get the goodie. got the goodies all in there the delicious cream tea that we're gonna have this afternoon let's get it in get it set up and let's have a great afternoon celebrating dad's 81st birthday yay so many goodies I dare you to throw it over the neighbours. <laughs> you want monster? Spell it out. Oh. Plums. It reminds me of when I was a kid, I used to climb a plum tree and stick my bill. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should make a plum and blackberry crumble or apple and blackberry crumble. Uh, that's what happens when you're in the nature. You're not a city boy anymore. You're in the country with me. <laughs> I'm loving this country bumpkin life. Yeah. Just go in the garden, pick some plums. That's it. <laughs> Normal, isn't it, for you lot? Well, it's not that normal. <laughs> We've only had it for three or four years. What have you got now? You've got like a bug in There's your no plastic around them either. Look, no <laughs> packaging, nothing. It's just like going in a tree. Who'd have thought it? <laughs> Any good? Oh. No. Nope. Got a bug in that one. <laughs> oh dear. Try and get one that hasn't got a hole in it. Well, this one's good. Yeah, good. There you go. We're gonna leave Mel to eat his plums. Organic plums. Mm. So organic, they've got protein got in them as yeah. well. <laughs> yeah, look, this one's got a bug in it too, I think. Yeah, look, he's still alive. He's wiggling. Look. Oh, God. And I'm eating that. Look at it. It's a, it's a worm. Yeah, I've gone off organic plums. I don't want them anymore. <laughs> Give me the ones that are wrapped in polythene any day. <laughs> Give me the plums in plastic. <laughs> Plums in plastic. Yeah. That's a I good song like for a tree. I don't like the plums off the tree. I want the ones in the tree. Well, what you need to do is probably cut them in half <coughs> and put them in some salty water to get the bugs out, and then you'll be fine. Yeah, I'll mm. pass on that. Oh dear. I'll stick to these pup noodles. <laughs> <laughs> right, with that, we'll leave you to it. <laughs> arrived at the barn and Mel has recruited me straight away to hold on to this. I'm recording. He's asked me to hold on to this while he fixes the gasket and the rubber seal on the other side and it doesn't pop out, hence the tape. He's filming me filming and talking to you. So there we go. Hands make light work. Oh, it feels weird.
luckily, Becky's turned up just in the nick of time. So Becky's going to do the screws up on the outside whilst I hold the nuts on the inside. <laughs> right, so start with the bottom one, shall we? Yeah. Bottom, that one, that one. Yep, yeah, okay. Yeah. Hang on, we need You stop being active and then you say you stay mine. Yeah. It's hard to get back into it again. So what's the problem, Mel? The problem is delivery drivers are blind. We've got a big sign out there, but for some reason they can't see it. So we're going to put another one up. And we're using a panel that's been cut out of a van. <laughs> you can see it's still got the ribs in it. When someone's put a window in their van. And big letters. Barn. Yeah, there you go. Barn one. Yeah, that looks pretty big. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't look like one. Okay, well, don't have that then. We can just put the number one on it. Yeah, we need it in the same letters, don't we? Okay, let's stick it down and put it on the fence. Well, I've spent all afternoon upgrading my van. I've done, I've done a couple of spots of painting and I've just started repairing my little door that hasn't been fitted. So that's in the workshop ready to be painted tomorrow, but it's got a set because I've put a new strip down the edge to cover over the holes that were messed up last time. So I'll show you that here. And Mel has been tirelessly working. Have a view. Yeah. It's seven o'clock and he's been working hard. So we're gonna stop and have a cup of tea before we carry on and decide what we're doing tomorrow. Not much has happened that I can show you on camera, but a lot has happened in the little ways, so. Oh, and my watch broke. It got caught and it ripped off. So now I've got no watch. So I need to get a new watch strap. Oh, and look, mister. And the is reason that it's sore is so noisy is because some knobhead is using it to cut aluminium. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Sure. Right, that's a successful day at the barn. Thank you so much for joining me and watching to the end. It really does make all the difference. And if you're interested in this video and you want to watch more, please go ahead and watch this one next. I think you're going to love it. Right, see you next time.